Hey what's going on everybody welcome to the 11th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is abhilash and in the previous tutorial we have seen how we can create a simple java project in eclipse ide so basically we have seen inside a source folder how we can create a package and within a package how we can create a simple java class so basically inside a java class we have a main method which is uh, nothing but it's a entry point when we execute the java programs so basically this is the method that will get executed for the very first time when we execute our java programs and in the last tutorial we have seen uh, how we can print a simple string in console so basically this is the method that we can use that is print ln uh, and every statement in java program needs to be ended with the semicolon so as you can see we have a semicolon at the end of the statement so in this tutorial we will be working with the java project and we will include the different selenium web driver jars that are required in order to create the test automation scripts so let's get started with the new java project so file new java project so we'll quickly create a new java project in order to include the selenium web driver jars so let's name it as uh, selenium test finish so nothing new till now so again we have a new java project in which we have a source folder now in order to include selenium web driver jars in this project we need to right click this project build path configure build path under the properties for the name of the project uh, this dialog box contains different tabs uh, so under libraries we need to click on add external jars so basically since we want to include the selenium web driver jars we can add the external jars and we have to browse to that particular folder where all our uh, selenium jars are present so basically as discussed in the previous tutorials i have uh, stored my selenium jars under selenium selenium jars lib library and these are the selenium jars that are supposed to be included so basically you can uh, just uh, select all the selenium jars that is control plus a and click on open so as you can see uh, all the selenium web driver jars are included in uh, the java build path and you can click on ok so basically that's the way in which you can uh, include all the selenium web driver jars so these uh, selenium web driver jars are included in your project so that you can uh, use the different classes that are uh, provided by these jars so we will see what are the different classes in selenium web driver in the upcoming tutorial series and if you expand this reference to libraries we have all the jars that were included using the java build path okay so this is uh, one way in which uh, you can include the selenium web driver jars another way to include the selenium web driver jars is uh, you right click build path and configure build path so instead of uh, adding the external jars again and again every time whenever you create a new project the very simple thing that you can do is you can uh, add a library that is click on the add library button under java build path user library next so i have already created a user library for now so i'll just quickly delete this to show you how you can create the user libraries so uh, after clicking on uh, add library under user library library uh, click on next user libraries 
you need to create a new user library before you can use it in your uh, java project so click on new let's name it as uh, selenium click on ok and select this selenium uh, library and add external jars you can include all the external jars that we had included in our uh, java project using the java build path so basically uh, you select all the jars click on open and uh, uh, whatever jars that you have selected will be included under this library and click on ok so basically next time whenever you will be creating a new java project you can uh, just select this uh, user library instead of uh, instead of uh, adding the external jars again and again uh, whenever you create a new java project so basically that's a uh, easiest method in order to include uh, the required uh, jars in your build path so basically you can remove this so once again i'll show you how you can include the user library and remember guys uh, you should not remove this jre system library since uh, this is the built-in library that is required for the execution of the java program so uh, just be conscious about uh, this particular library and you should uh, not remove it from your java build path so I have removed the required jars so let's uh, include it once again and right click build path configure build path and add library user library and as we have already uh, created uh, selenium uh, user library we can quickly select it and click on finish so basically as you can see uh, we have included the library which uh, includes all the required selenium web driver jars and once we click on ok the required jars will be included in the java project so basically this is the way you can uh, include the selenium web driver jars so that we can uh, use the classes of selenium web driver in our uh, java projects for the automation of the testing of web page applications so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one